a succession of galactic presidents who so much enjoy the fun and palaver of being in power that they never really notice that they're not. And somewhere in the shadows behind them, who? Who can possibly rule if no one who wants to can be allowed to? Pussy! Pussy, pussy! Goochie, 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 goochie! Pussy want his fish? Nice piece of fish. Pussy want it? Pussy not eat his fish. Pussy get thin and waste away, I think. I imagine this is what will happen, but how can I tell? I think it's better if I don't get involved. I think fish is nice, but then I think that rain is wet, so who am I to judge? Ah, you're eating it. Fish come from far away, or so I'm told, or so I imagine I'm told. When the men come, or when in my mind the men come in their six black shiny ships, do they come in your mind too? What do you see, pussy? And when I hear their questions, all their many questions, do you hear questions? Perhaps you just think they're singing songs to you. Perhaps they are singing songs to you, and I just think they're asking me questions. Do you think they came today? I do. There's mud on the floor, cigarettes and whiskey on my table, fish in your plate and a memory of them in my mind. And look what else they've left me. Crosswords, dictionaries and a calculator. I think I must be right in thinking they ask me questions. To come all that way and leave all these things just for the privilege of singing songs to you would be very strange behaviour. Or so it seems to me. Who can tell? Who can tell? I think I saw another ship in the sky today, a big white one. I've never seen a big white one, only six small black ones. Perhaps six small black ones can look like one big white one. Perhaps I'd like a glass of whiskey. Yes, that seems more likely. Perhaps some different people are coming to see me. Yeah. Yes. What, that shack? Yes. Weird. But it's the middle of nowhere. Oh, come on. We must have come to the wrong place. Knock on the door. Hello. Uh, excuse me. Do you rule the universe? I try not to. Are you wet? Wet? Well, doesn't it look as if we're wet? That's how it looks to me, but how you feel about it might be a different matter. If you find warmth makes you feel dry, you'd better come in. Uh, sure. Oh, oh that's fine. Well, thank you. Thank you. Like, like, uh, man, what's your name? I don't know. Why, do you think I ought to have one? It seems odd to give a bundle of vague sensory perceptions a name. Listen, we must ask you some questions. All right. You can sing to my cat if you like. Would he like that? You'd better ask him that. How long have you been ruling the universe? Ah, this is a question about the past, is it? Yes. How can I tell that the past isn't a fiction designed to account for the discrepancy between my immediate physical sensations and my state of mind? Do you answer all questions like this? I say what it occurs to me to say when I think I hear people say things more I cannot say. Oh, that clears it up. He's a weirdo. No, listen. People come to you, yes? I think so. And they ask you to take decisions about wars, about economies, about people, about everything going on out there in the universe. I only decide about my universe. My universe is what happens to my eyes and ears. Anything else is surmise and hearsay. For all I know, these people may not exist. You may not exist. I say what it occurs to me to say. But don't you see? What you decide affects the fate of millions of people. I don't know them. I've never met them. They only exist in words I think I hear. The men who come to me say, so-and-so wants to declare what we call a war. These are the facts. What do you think? And I say. Sometimes it's a smaller thing. They might say, for instance, that a man called Zaphod Beeblebrox is president, but he is in financial collusion with a consortium of high-powered psychiatrists who want him to order the destruction of a planet called Earth because of some sort of experiment. Um, Should he be allowed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, wait a minute, man. Uh, sit hey, down, wait. Arthur. Sit down. Let go of me. Oh, Arthur, you know okay, me. What have you? We'll sort it out later. But it's folly to say you know what is happening to other people. Only they know, if they exist. Do you think they do? I have no opinion. How can I have? 